welcome back to FaithWorks. I'm your host, Jazzalina, and today's guest is an incredible beauty expert from New York. Millie Amodavar is a fabulous Latina with impeccable style. She went from working in finance on Wall Street to pursuing her passion in beauty. You can find Millie talking about makeup and gadgets on the Today Show, New York Live, and the Wendy Williams Show. Welcome to the show, Millie. Thanks for love. Oh my God, we're so happy to have you here. Listen, Millie and I have been friends for a few years. We met through a mutual friend, Valerie Laura, and then we connected because yes. we love God and we also love to pray together. All right, Millie, now it's time to get spiritual. When did you find God? So I actually, my mom was really, really religious. Um, so I grew up with just knowing God and knowing His love, like since I was born. Yeah. Why is God important to you? God is so important to me. Um, I've had a lot of fortune in my life, like I'm sure many people have. Um, and it's so funny because I always, you know, although I could be going through the worst time, I always put my faith in it. And I'm like, and even when I don't see results, and even when, you know, things aren't working out the way I've prayed them to be, for some reason, Every single time, the end result is always better than what I could ever imagine. You know, so I know that's God. Now I've been a Christian for a very long time now, for about maybe over ten years. Right. And you meet all kinds of worshipers, right? You have some Christians that rather worship God at home; they don't go to church, right. you know. And then you have some worshipers that love going to church. I don't think there's anything wrong with the way you praise God, right. but I wanted to find out from you what kind of worshiper are you? Um. So there was a time where my worship was, I would watch Joel Osteen. Okay, Sunday. yeah. And that works too. Yeah, I like I, Joel Osteen. I loved him. So on Sundays, that was my worship. Mm -hmm. I do, um, I watch it, and I'm like, okay. Um, but I started going to Hillsong Church recently. Yeah. Right. And I heard that the sermon here is really good. What does the sermon do for you? So last week, the sermon was so good that like I had to like, like I had to tape it. And then I've been sending it to people. Really? Like, the yeah. sermon. They had a guest pastor there, and um, his name was Jimmy Rollins, okay. and he was just talking about how God doesn't want us to run away from our problems. Yes, He wants us to face them. Right. Um, and he's like, you know, if someone's, you know, bringing up, you bringing up your past, you pick that past up yeah. and, and you talk about it. And if yeah. someone's, you know, telling you your life's a mess, you pick it up and you make it a message. Yeah, because like it, it could be an inspiration to someone else. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and it was just, it was a, it was a life changing man. So like, honestly, now I'm going to church like every Sunday. <laughs> um, I want to start going Tuesdays now Good. too. Because now I, when you go to church on Tuesday, that means that God is really working in your life. Yeah, they have like a It is. Um, and it's, there's a reason that that church is always packed. Mm -hmm. Like it's because the, the, when you walk in there, you just you don't feel judgment. You don't. You just feel love. Yeah. I used to be the person that was like, I don't need to go to church, mm -hmm. and you know I can watch Joel and I'm good. Um, but there is a huge difference when you are there, and when you are surrounded by other worshippers, and you just feel that energy, and you feel God's energy there, and you feel the love that He has mm -hmm. for you. So we talked a little bit about you leaving finance yeah. and then pursuing your career in beauty. Right. I mean, you all know Milia Moldovar. She's been seen on all sorts of networks yeah. and she knows makeup, she yeah. knows anything beauty. But I wanted to know if you could think back a little bit, how were you able to trust God at that moment? Because sometimes fear can overcome us and we may not take that leap of faith. Right, and um, for years I was like, I shouldn't do this. You know, when I was in finance, I was like 20 something making six figures. Wow. But I wasn't happy. Um, I loved beauty. Um, I was always playing in makeup. But I still stayed in finance, and then I ended up leaving finance. And then I said, maybe I'll be good, you know, for TV. So I took an unpaid internship at NBC, and I was amongst like 20 year olds, and I wasn't 20 years old. <laughs> Luckily, I looked it though. You still do, girl. She still do. I mean, look at all of this. <laughs> but I was like the older intern, mm -hmm. um, and that's one thing that God teaches us is you have to be humble. Yes. You cannot think. Being humble is key. Yes. You cannot gloat about like any of your blessings right. because you never know. It could be here today and gone tomorrow. I started a beauty blog. Blogs were just getting big. And I was like, let me start my, let me start a blog, Beauty Logic blog. Mm -hmm. um, and it was no Latinas doing it. Right. it um, so I was like, let me start it. Um, you know, people were like, it's a waste of time. No one reads blogs. Mm -hmm. That was not true. Not true at all. People started reading the blog. The blog became bigger and bigger. And, but people were still telling me, why do you do this? You're not making money. And I was like, because this is my passion. I was like praying to God. I said, please figure out a way to make this money. Yeah. You know? And then like two, you know, like maybe two, three years after working at Fox, I get a pen. And it's from a woman 
who worked at Cosmo. Ooh, and she's Cosmo. I know you were like so excited when you got that call. Like, oh my God, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Her name is her name is Brandy, and Brandy was like, Hey, Millie, I'm a big reader of your blog. Mm -hmm. And she was like, um, I work at Cosmo. We're having a party for this new magazine that we're starting called Cosmopolitan for Latinas. She's like, I'm putting the party. You're the only blogger I'm gonna invite. So I go to the party. The party is like on Hearst, which is like on 57th <laughs> Street. It was on the top floor. So I see all of Central Park. They have Cafe Bustelo everywhere, which is a big sign because I'm a Cafe Bustelo lover. Yes, yes. So it's like all, and I'm like, I, I'm meant to be. The next morning, she calls me and she's like, Millie, guess what I spent the night doing? And I was like, what? She was like, I was on your blog all night. Wow. And I was like, oh my God. And she's like, can you come see me today? And I was like, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm not doing anything. Meanwhile, I'm like, hey, Fox, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm not coming in today. So I go in and she was just like, listen, she's like, if you want to be the beauty editor, we, I didn't have, a, I didn't have a, a beauty editor in mind. She's like, but if you want the job, it's yours. Like that was, and it, it was just, she read the blog. She didn't right. even like, and that was what I had visualized. Like I wanted to make a career in beauty and God gave it to me. So Millie, yeah. do you have a favorite Bible scripture? I do. And it has um, been a saving grace for me forever. Oh, okay. Uh, Share it with us. Yes. And I have it. It's actually the, <laughs> the, the, the wallpaper on my phone. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jeremiah. Good one. Okay. So it's for, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope in the future and I, I really when I go one yeah when I'm going through something and I'm thinking oh god why hasn't God answered my prayer I look back and I'm like you know what he's he's gonna answer it right. in the best way he he knows right? all right Millie now it's time to give we all know that God loves a cheerful giver so I have here the treasure box Ooh. I don't want anyone to leave my show empty-handed you already know how this goes yeah. so Millie I want you to close your eyes okay. Put your hand in the treasure box, pick a prize. Let's see what you get. Ooh, that's Ooh, a good one. Beautiful. Yes, this is a spiritual bracelet. Millie, thank you so much for sharing your amazing story with us. It was so inspirational. I'm really happy that you were here with us today. Um, but before you go, I want to know, do you have a testimony or maybe a confession? Um, my confession is God always has my back. Amen. No matter what. Yes. And he really, really showed it to me this week. I love that. That is a good confession. So make sure you subscribe so you can see the next Faith Works episode. All right. And always remember, walk by faith, not by sight. Amen. See you next time. Boop, boop.